snow, and we don't see the snow here, but it sure mm -hmm. feels pretty cold. And when it gets this <laughs> cold, you hope that snow falls because you're like, well, if it's this cold, it might as well snow, you know? Right? But uh, just not the case here. It's just cold that we're dealing with, and that's just all across Alabama. But here are the national temperatures, just to give you some perspective. Bismarck, North Dakota, don't you wish you were there at six degrees below zero right now? Oh, that looks fun. Eight degrees in Minneapolis, four in Omaha, while we are at a much cozier, if you can even call that cozy, 35 degrees, very chilly in Birmingham as well. Now, it's very cold out there right now, but we're coming off a pretty warm January. Every single day in Birmingham so far has had above average temperatures, six out of 19 days, 15 degrees above normal or more. And today was the first day that we actually had temperatures that were below average by one degree. The average high temperature was 54 today, and we got all the way up to 53 here in Birmingham. Also been a pretty wet month so far. We're coming up on seven inches of rain in total in Birmingham. That's about four inches above where we usually are for this time of the month. And Anison's coming up on over eight inches of rain as well. A lot of wet weather all month long uh, across Alabama. 35 degrees in Birmingham right now. Here's that live look from the BJCC, which 5920 back open again. Crazy sight to see after over a year of it being shut down. And here are the temperatures all across the viewing area. Right now we're at 29 in Coleman, 28 in Hamilton. They're below Low freezing up to the north, right at freezing in Jasper, and then still a little bit above freezing in places like Tuscaloosa, Alabaster, and Clanton. Big changeover compared to where we were this time yesterday, down 23 degrees compared to this time yesterday here in Birmingham as well as in Coleman. We also have a north breeze coming in at around 10 to 15 miles per hour. That makes it feel that much colder outside, of course, and when you factor in those winds, it feels anywhere from 8 to 10 degrees colder than the average or the actual temperature. Clear skies though all across Alabama. On the plus side, even though the next couple days will be very cold, it will be mainly sunny. We won't have to worry about rain all that much, uh, I think for most of the upcoming week. So the wind chills later tonight will definitely be dropping. We'll be down into the teens before you know it after midnight tonight. It'll feel very cold when you walk out the door tomorrow morning. Layer up, wear your hats, your gloves, even mittens if you got them, because we're not used to that cold or not used to this kind of cold uh, this far south here in Alabama. And then the wind chills staying at or well below freezing for much of the afternoon tomorrow as well. It's the next three days that we see the really frigid air kind of stick around, but we're back up above freezing with the low temperatures starting on Thursday and then moving into Friday. Here's that full seven day forecast. Rain chances holding off until we get to Friday. That's when our next cold front will be passing through. It looks like more quiet weather will be sticking around for the weekend as well with the temperatures by January standards fairly comfortable. Lows in the 40s Friday and Saturday.